how do you cure those post Hawaiian vacation blues? Do you light a scented candle or cue up some luau music? I like to bring back the flavors of the food, the tastes and textures that can spark a memory and have me feeling like I'm living that island life again. This short rib Benedict recipe was inspired by our breakfast at the Kauai Marriott Resort. It was so delicious that we asked the waiter for the recipe before we even finished. He was kind enough to jot down a few of the ingredients and we took it from there. We're going to start off by prepping the marinade. We have one cup of water, a quarter cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of black soy sauce, a tablespoon of sesame oil, and half a cup of brown sugar. And you can give that a stir. We're gonna to continue to add to the marinade with about three tablespoons of chopped garlic, three or so tablespoons of chopped scallion, and one tablespoon grated ginger. Lastly, we'll add fresh orange juice. I used only one half of the orange here, and red pepper flakes for a little kick. Now for the meat, we're gonna use kalbi short ribs, and kalbi is referring to the Korean style cut of the rib. You can typically find this in your local Asian market. I frequent H Mart here in New York City, or you can create it at home by butterflying your English style short ribs into thin, long strips. We're gonna place the ribs in a Ziploc bag and add our marinade in, ensuring each piece is evenly coated. And this will sit in the refrigerator for the next two hours. While that settles, I think it's important to begin mentally preparing for the next few steps. We'll have to poach some eggs, make the hollandaise sauce, whip up a teriyaki glaze, and eventually grill our short ribs. Trust me, this will all be worth it in the end. Let's start with the eggs. If you have a preferred method of egg poaching, by all means, feel free to skip over this, but I recently discovered the sous vide method and cooking is always more fun when it feels like a science experiment. We're gonna fill a bucket with eight quarts of tap water, set the sous vide to 146 degrees Fahrenheit, and place four eggs in a Ziploc bag while that heats up. Once we've hit the desired temperature, we'll place the Ziploc with the eggs gently into the bucket, securing the bag to one side, and leave that alone for the next 50 minutes. Five zero. In the meantime, we can jump over to prepping the teriyaki glaze by combining a quarter cup of teriyaki sauce, one teaspoon of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, you know what I mean, <laughs> one teaspoon of that, and a half a tablespoon of cornstarch in a pot over medium heat. Stir out any clumps and let the mixture come to a boil. Once it does, reduce the flame to a simmer and allow the glaze to thicken. Remove from the heat and set aside once you are satisfied with the glaze consistency. Not too thick, but not too runny. As for the hollandaise sauce, this is the easiest method I found courtesy of the food lab. We'll drop one egg yolk into a bowl with a teaspoon of water, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and a pinch of salt. I realize I started this with a measuring cup here, but I eventually decided to transfer everything to a bowl instead. Melt a stick of butter until it bubbles, and once done, very slowly add the melted butter into the egg mixture using a hand mixer to combine. This cooks the egg, and by the time the butter is fully added, your hollandaise sauce should be ready to go. Transfer to a warm pot to store for now. At this point, it's been 50 minutes, so our poached eggs should be done. Remove the eggs from the sous vide. Gently crack them open one at a time and quickly and delicately place them into a pot of boiling water. This essentially just seals them up neatly for us, so give them about 30 seconds in here and then remove. Great, we're in the final stretch now. Let's get those short ribs on the grill and toast up some English muffins. We're gonna set our grill for 450 degrees Fahrenheit and add our short ribs on. These will cook for only about three minutes on each side and then we can remove and slice them into bite-sized pieces. Our toasted and lightly buttered English muffins are waiting for their big moment, the Benedict stack. We have the toasted muffin topped with grilled short ribs, a poached egg, creamy hollandaise sauce, a teriyaki glaze, diced scallion, and a sprinkle of sesame seeds. 
The flavors of this Hawaiian short rib Benedict transported me right back to the islands and gave me just the right amount of aloha spirit to hold me over until my next vacation.